We have a new twin cutter called the SW series, developed late last year. This is a product which is a, has a much larger variety, versatility, and capability, as well as same cutting diameters as we had before. The product is fully compatible to our existing Kaiser system, but has been significantly improved and streamlined for twin cutter rough boring. We have the ability to do what we call balance cutting. In the balance cutting setup, both tools are set to exactly the same diameter, and they're going to be at the same height. It's the most common way of twin cutter rough boring and offers the highest possible rigidity and feed rate. For users who have heavier core shifts and need to use what we call the step cutting arrangement can simply change these insert holders from one side to the other side and it will automatically change the height of each insert holder respective to each other so that we have at least 10 thousandths lead on one side compared to the other side. So now users can change this diameter compared to this diameter and get much heavier stock allowance capability. Assembling these tools gives you a clearly defined direction as to what you have. RSS means balance cutting and if the arrow is lined up to the RSS value you have that on both sides. These two tools now are on the same height and will be preset to the same diameter. On the other hand if I assemble this tool so that these arrows are now lined up to the other side for DVS that means step cutting. That means that this insert is now leading this other insert by a factor of ten thousandths of an inch. The tools are very easy to adjust from one side. One screw and wrench is fitted in and will move the diameter in one direction as well as the opposite direction. So presetting is very simple. It even comes with a metric scale so that the user can define the diameter directly on the side of the tool and preset it offline without the need of a presetter. Tools are through the tool coolant, it has a wear resistant and corrosion resistant coating on the outside so that they're very durable and again they're very easy to use, multifunctional and adjust from only one direction. The CKN tool system was developed with the idea that aluminum tool components could be combined with steel components to greatly reduce the tool weight and tool moments necessary for the machine tool to be able to handle the tool more effectively. Here we have a buildup of a tool made from steel, which are the chrome looking parts. Aluminum, steel, aluminum, followed by the finished boring heads or rough boring heads that we can attach to. Tool assemblies of up to 25 inches can now be easily achieved in increments of only three quarter inch steps. So if a 24 inch long tool is necessary, we can adapt that to different components to get almost exactly 24 inches. Whereas if only 23 inches is needed, we can also do the same thing. There's a large variety of different intermediate components that we can put together to achieve the optimum tool length. The tool connection was developed that the aluminum tools would not have any male connection to them whatsoever. So here we have an, an aluminum extension which is completely female in both directions. All the transmission of radial torque is taken up by a receiver which is made out of steel and a double-ended pilot male connection. So to put this tool together, simply putting it into the female on one side, locking it in place with three coupling screws which has the torque transmission. And to put another tool into this side, we would have another female the male coupler, and we'll go together.